What's up? Just kidding. Okay, so today we're going to be repainting the hood on my Jeep. I just want to do a huge disclaimer. I am not a painter. I don't paint at all. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna turn out really interesting. Luke's here to help me, kind of guide me a little bit. He's done it before. He's over yonder. Why did you even rope me into this? Cause he roped me into this! So uh, we're gonna get started with cleaning it first and then I've got primer and then we've got the PR4 code paint that comes in a can from Duplicolor. That's the exact paint code for this car. And then we have some questionable clear coat that we're gonna try. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna order some other one that we saw online. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So here we go. All right, so we've got the sanding done for the main part. Now we're gonna start doing the primer. We got our little can over here. Right there. Got one of those fancy little handles so we don't have to spray with our fingers and our fingers get tired. But yeah, we're gonna start right now with the primer. We're gonna do what, three coats? Is that what we said? Or two coats? Two coats of primer, three coats of base, and then two coats of clear coat. So here we go. This is not sponsored by Corona. Wish it was. Get some on that big hole. So the reason why we're bonding most of the hood, probably all of it, is if you look closely, the oh, you can really see it well on the camera. The hood is covered in these tiny little cracks which is probably just sun fade over, you know, however many years this car has been outside. So we're probably gonna end up bonding almost all of the hood. Okay, so we've been working on this pretty much all day. Okay, so yeah, so we cleaned, and then we sanded, and then we sprayed one layer of the primer, and then we went back through, put Bondo on all of the low spots, which actually turned out really well. And then we sprayed another layer of primer, so now we're starting the base coat of the red. So let's do it. Let's do it.
Hood's done. It turned out really good. Uh, the clear coat looks terrible, but the paint match looks really good. I just got back from Little Moab, which is way out here. with uh, old Scatter Dad. Well, actually, it's Square Body Shelly now. That's gonna be a weird transition. Anyways, just got back from Lil Moab with him and a couple guys on uh, Facebook that we met. One of them had a really nice XJ, talks to him. Super cool, older gentleman, veteran, he was awesome. Anyways, so just got back from that and the Jeep's all dirty now and the paint just matches perfectly. <laughs> The clear coat looks awful, but I'm probably gonna go back through, sand that off, and do another coat. But as you can see, the paint match is really, really good. It matches with the rest of the panels, and it blends right in, especially when it's dirty. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, next piece is definitely this, because that looks awful. Just terrible. And then, the last piece I'm going to try and do before the fall slash summer is over is the roof line up here. I have a feeling that's going to take some metal work that I am not familiar with, but we're going to learn just like we did with the hood. Never done any paint work on anything before. So we learned with the hood. We're going to learn with the roof. It's going to be fun. This was a really fun process, and thanks again to Luke for helping me out. He's a little more experience with this stuff, and I've never done it, but I'm excited to learn i want to learn how to do all this stuff and i told you guys for that from the beginning this jeep i'm going to use an excuse to learn some things so next we're going to work on repainting this front fascia grill piece we're going to repaint the grill as well just black again but this one's just kind of gross and then we're going to do the, the roof but i think once those two body panels are finished that's kind of it for paint restoration we can start moving on to body modifications so thanks again for watching guys i had a lot of fun doing this and i just took this out again and had a good time so i'm i'm really happy with how this jeep is starting to turn out it's going from project to shitbox and i want to progress from shitbox to something i can be proud of so thanks again and i will see you guys in the next video